Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. It's Peter here and today I want to share something pretty cool with you. Let's do it. Uh, I've always wanted to test the performance of AF for video, uh, especially on the Nikon Z9, which I want to use as my primary uh, video camera along with my A7S III. Instead of, of getting a FX6 or an FX3, I thought with the incredible performance of video recording on the Z9 uh, it's worth testing to see amongst the lenses that I use which ones it would be worthwhile to use for uh, video recording. I have a number of F-mount lenses as well and Sony lenses and I want to see whether I can use them for video recording uh, with the uh, respective adapters. So for the F-mount we have the FTZ2 and for the Sony uh, we have the ETZ21 which is just here. So. We're going to go through <clears throat> one, two, three, four, uh, five lenses. Uh, I'll go through them in order of what we're going to test. So the first one we're going to check is going to be here we go. Uh, is the Zeiss 55 millimeter 1.8 little little one here. Let's check that. Next one we're going to check is the 24 to 70 GM Sony GM2. This baby here. This is uh, an incredible lens, uh, one lens of the year, <laughs> according to DPR review. I have to say, in terms of just general use and performance, uh, I wouldn't disagree with them. Although it's not, I wouldn't say it's my favorite lens, it's, it's an incredible one. Next one we're going to test on is the Sigma 50, uh, DG HSM Art F-mount 1.4, here. A beautiful lens for photography. Uh, I think it would make, a, if it works well, if the AF works well, uh, it would make wonderful work of any scene uh, with uh, AF tracking for faces. Uh, we'll test the F mount <clears throat> for reference, the F mount uh, 24 to 120 G, and that will give us a chance to compare that performance, the F mount lens performance. So we'll zoom in on that here. Yep. Uh, compared to the S lens, S line lens, Z mount 24 to 120, which is, I think, my my favorite lens. I like to call this the uh, the Goldilocks lens. It's not too big, not too small. It's got a wide, uh, great range of uh, <coughs> of <laughs> focal length. It has excellent sharpness, uh, and so far, I think I've used it more than any other lens for anything but. Uh, birds and wildlife. So let's get to it. Let's test these uh, lenses. Let's test their AF performance and then at the end we'll jump back into the studio and check the results and have a little chat. Thanks guys. I'll see you uh, back in the studio.
guys, that was the five lenses uh, we went through. Um, each of them performed reasonably well with the exception of the Zeiss lens. Zeiss or Zeiss? I think it's a pronounced uh, Zeiss lens. What it didn't show and what I tried a few times, that was probably the third or fourth time that I tried to do the AF uh, for it, was that when I moved my head out of the frame and then back in again, the Zeiss lens, even though the Z9 was showing the autofocus uh, parts of my face, like the, the, around my eyes and around my face. There was just, there was no AF. It just didn't, didn't focus the, the face into, into view, even though it was supposed to. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but in terms of moving objects, the Zeiss lens definitely is not something I would count on and I would avoid. The Sony uh, GM2 24 to 70 was great. It was responsive, smooth, uh, locked on focus. So I'm surprised that it, there was such a big difference between those two Sony lenses on the same ETZ adapter. Uh, I also didn't find that on my Sony A7S III for the Zeiss lens to be uh, that like that bad in terms of autofocus. So it, it's got to be, I think, something to do with the either, yeah, the probably most likely something to do with the adapter. But the Sony GM2 was amazing. Uh, I would definitely use that for video on the Z9. Uh, the next one was the Sigma, I believe. The Sigma was also great, although it was quite a, abrupt in the way it would focus from for from the back from uh, from the background to the face. Uh, even though it captured it, it was pretty quick. Uh, it was quite sharp and locked on. It would uh, it, it looked quite kind of a, abrupt. So maybe there are some settings I can check on the Z9, but I'll have to look into that. The next one was the uh, F mount twenty four to 120 uh, G. Uh, that was also pretty good, really surprising. It, it locked on uh, and tracked pretty well. Uh, the only problem is, is you, you can actually hear those autofocusing motors. So if you want to uh, have audio, you probably need to replace it because you, you, it, it's quite audible on that lens uh, when the autofocusing motors are working. Uh, the last one was the 24 to 120 uh, ZS uh, and that one was quite uh, good. I was surprised that the Sony GM2 was uh, maybe on par, if not slightly better, but it was, yeah, it was amazing to see the comparison. The, the uh, S-Line lens was great. I really think it's definitely usable for most uh, cases for video. Uh, it's easy to carry, portable, it's got wide, uh, quite a long uh, focal range. So very happy with that. So guys, uh, that's, uh, that's it. Um, hope you liked the video and got some insight from it. It was really useful for me to put this together. If you do like this channel and enjoy what I'm doing, then please like and subscribe and I will see you at the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.